Basically, uh, my objective with this presentation is to show how optimistic we are in, relate, uh, in relation to the market in Brazil as a whole, the main investment movements that has been happening, and the main focus was to uh, deal with the impact on talent, ma talent management that it brings to the private equity industry. Uh, I think Brazil is not overheated. Uh, I think what we are seeing today is the private equity industry in Brazil is maturing. So it's becoming larger, it's more LPs investing, interest in the region, there are more GPs operating in the region. More transactions get done, deals are getting larger. So what, what we see is a natural evolution of the industry that has become more mature, but uh, I don't see this as a sign of, of uh, overheating. So what do you think Brazil is going to look like for investment in five years? Definitely much better than the last five years. Well, Brazil has uh, received a lot of, uh, of uh, capital. Uh, we have increased our allocation in Brazil. But uh, this capital has been invested uh, uh, relatively disciplined. We have seen entry valuations uh, being maintained at uh, the right side, the right size. So uh, around six times EBITDA, 30% discount to comps. Uh, so in our, in our view, the industry is disciplined and uh, you know, I haven't seen a lot of deals going crazy uh, with that amount of capital out there. Uh, having said that also, one of the, 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 the big funds we've invested in have been disciplined also in deploying money at the right pace. And I think that's attributed to their strategy, the way they, they see deals, the way they do deals, and uh, they are able to, to convince the entrepreneurs to, to invest and, and grow faster and, uh, and still keep the entrepreneur in the, in the shareholding structure. Uh, and, and, and exit in the future at a better valuation. So I think that theory has, has maintained discipline correct.